In this video, we're going to show you how to add an event to the scene of Arms platform. It's very simple and there's many ways in which you can do it. You can run them straight from here where it just has a button where it says add your event. That's one way of doing it. You can come over here where it says add an event and that is the other way of doing it. The other way you can do it is you simply go over here to your events. And there is a button here that says add new. It really doesn't matter how you do it. It all goes to the same place. So let's create an event together so that we know what we're doing. So we're going to call this the test event and we're not going to add it to a group. But if you had a group on the site, you would be able to connect this event to your group so that people can see the event if they're part of your group. You would start your uh, start date. Uh, so we're going to do that for tomorrow and we're going to end date. We're going to do it tomorrow as well. It's going to run from 12 a.m. to uh, let's say 1.15 a.m. It really doesn't matter at this point. This is just an example. So it's a London event as in London time zone. If you change the time zone here, what will happen is it will convert that time zone into British Standard Time. Uh, we do this because obviously we're a British based platform, but it then anyone else that's coming on, they will know that it's based on British Standard Time, but it will convert if your time is in a different time zone. A location, you can add either a physical location, which is an address, or you can add a URL, which for example, would be a Zoom meeting. On the physical location, there is also the URL option, and that is a great place if you want to create a Google drop or the URL to the place. Um, for example, if it was a hotel or something like that. But we're going to have no location for the time being. Now, it, to the detail side of it, this is where you tell people about your event, okay? Why people want to come, what's the point of it, the processes, et cetera, et cetera. So let's just put in here, we're just going to write in details for the time being. And then you can select categories. You can select multiple categories if you want to by simply holding down the control button. So you would do so as that, for example, and you would be able to add multiple categories. Now, you need to add an, an event image because if you don't, quite frankly, your event will look quite boring. So let's find an image that we have. I've got an image here that I was using earlier on. Um, so we can just upload that image onto the uh, platform and there's, that's where you know it's there because it's got the link by there. Now we need to enable bookings because if we don't enable bookings, how is someone gonna actually be able to join our event? So we're gonna create a standard ticket, but we are gonna edit it. If you wanna change the name, you can do. If you wanna add in the description of the ticket, you can. You add your price of your ticket by here and how many spaces you want. So for example, we're gonna have 50 spaces. Now on this bit here, you can force um, an order. Uh, I very rarely use this, but if you wanna say that people have to have at least two tickets, for example, you put that in here, but you can also restrict it. So you can say they can only order one ticket per booking, or they can only order up to five, for example. Now here, you can say when the tickets go on, go live and when they are available up until. So for example, if you've got to do catering, then you may say, well, you can't book up, you know, three days before the event, the tickets will close. You can add that by here. Um, available for, so this is the bit where you can say that they're either for guests only or only logged in users or everyone. This is a great purpose to be used if you have got an offer for guests. So say, for example, if they're not a member of Cena Bounds, they pay £10. But if they are a logged in member of Cena Bounds, they only pay £5. And that's when you can create um, multiple tickets there as well. Once you were finished, you would simply close the ticket editor. And if you wanted to add a new ticket, you would simply collect, select and add a different ticket. And again, that will save. We're not going to do that today, but you get the point of it. You can put how many tickets overall. So this is a good tip to give you. If you have 50 spaces overall, but you have multiple tickets that you want to sell, set all the tickets to 50, like so. And then set the maximum spaces to 50 as well. Let me explain why. Because if you sell 50 standard tickets, then all the tickets will sell out. But if you sell 50 second level tickets, Again, all the tickets would sell out. 
If you sell 10 standard tickets, then it would come off the total of 50 at the bottom end here. So this is the maximum amount of people in the room, and this is the maximum amount of tickets per event. So you may say we only have 10 children's tickets, for example, and you would set it that way. If you have got any more questions about that, please feel free to contact us at jamie at cenobounds.co.uk or info at cenobounds.co.uk, and we would be happy to be able to support you. So as you go down here, some of these you will want to put some maximum spaces per booking, for example, a booking cutoff date if you wanted to add that. Um, the booking form, I always leave at default. We do have a few people that utilize, so we have Basketball Wales, for example, and they do utilize um, a set booking form. If that is something that you would need and you do run regular events, again, please contact us through the contact form and we'd be happy to help you with that. So the next thing you need to do is just simply hit submit. And once that is done, that listing or that event will be live. So I'm going to hit submit now so that the listing is live so that I can show you roughly what it looks like. So once that is saved, it will come over here and you, I have now got my list is, my event is now up and running, okay? So I can go and view that event by clicking on test. Uh, for example, that's the test name. Uh, oh no, hang on, I do apologize. So you can view the events um, from your, your events form. So all you would do is you come over here um, and there is your events by here and you can then, you will know where that is. To view the events, you click over onto the events board and that will then bring up the event. So here it is here, for example, the test event. That's how it looks to everybody else. And as you can see, the price goes from naught to 10 pound. When I click onto the event, there's my image. There's the information and there's the categories in which the event is displayed in. My details will show up by here and the different tickets that I have will show up to here. So for example, I can choose 20 tickets. Um, if I've got any information, I put that in here. And then once I've clicked on that ticket, the purchase button will then come up and booking this event will happen. And that's how it happens for the end user. And that is how you add an event to the scene of our stuff.